Certified Tester Test Automation Engineer CTTAE Real Exam Questions are a must for you to pass CTTAE test. 1. As the TAE, you are working with the organization's test manager to decide which external metrics and which internal metrics should be gathered for the new TUSH. Which of the following represents the best internal metric that would help measure the quality of the TUSH and the number of problems associated with the TUSH? A. The average maintenance cost to keep an automated test in sync with the SUT. B. The number of hours of manual test effort saved by implementing a TUSH. C. A measure of defect density within the TUSH automation code. D. A measure of how many automated tests pass and fail. 2. Consider a TUSH associated to dynamically changing software frequent releases. Your goal is to determine the amount of effort required to maintain the automated tests of the regression test suite for each new release of the SUT. What is the most important metric to collect to achieve your goal? A. The code coverage achieved with the automated tests, for each new release of the SUT. B. The number of automated tests which fail because of a single software defect, for each new release of the SUT. C. The time it takes to execute all the automated tests, for each new release of the SUT. D. The number of automated tests requiring maintenance, for each new release of the SUT. 3. Which of the following correctly describes how automation should be applied to confirmation testing? A. Confirmation tests are not good candidates for automation as they are not designed to run many times. B. Confirmation tests should only be automated if they fail to pass on the first attempt. C. Confirmation tests can be automated and incorporated into an automated regression suite to show whether defects that were previously fixed reoccur. D. A confirmation test should only be automated after it has been run manually. 4. Which of the following statements best describe aspects of the SUT to consider when designing a TAA? A. All the interaction between SUT and TUSH should be logged with the highest level of detail. B. All the internal test interfaces of the SUT should be removed prior to the product release. C. All the interface of the SUT affected by the tests should be controllable by the TAA. D. All the external test interfaces of the SUT should be removed prior to the product release. 5. You are using a GTAA to create a TUSH for a project. The TUSH is aimed specifically at automating a suite of existing manual test cases for standalone desktop applications. All the interfaces between the TUSH and SUT will be from the QI of the application. Which of the following layers of the GTAA should you focus on for the TUSH? A. The test generation layer. B. The test definition layer. C. The test adaption layer. D. The test execution layer. 6. What is the primary advantage of using abstraction in the TAA? A. It makes it more flexible for future reuse and improvements. B. It requires a higher skill level to implement. C. It ensures that any scripting method will be supported. D. It improves the performance of the TUSH. 7. Which of the following is considered a disadvantage of test automation? A. Automated exploratory testing is difficult to implement. B. Test automation can be a distraction from the objective of finding bugs. C. Tests are more likely to have operator errors. D. 
slower feedback on the quality of the system. 8. Which of the following statements about the reuse of Tush artifacts is true? A. Reusable Tush artifacts can include components, or parts of components, associated with different layers of the TAA. B. To enable reuse of Tush artifacts, a good design for reuse is built into the TAA and to further action are needed during the Tush life cycle. C. Communications maintenance and improvements for reusing Tush artifacts are modify addressed during the design of the TAA. D. Reusable Tush artifacts associated with the definition layer of the TAA include the adapters to the SUT components and or interfaces. 9. Your goal is to verify completeness, consistency and correct behavior of an automated test suite. The Tush has been proven to successfully install in the SUT environment. All the preliminary checks to verify the correct functioning of the automated test environment and test tool configuration, installation and setup have successfully completed. Which of the following is not a relevant check for achieving your goal in this scenario? A. Checking whether all the test cases contain the expected results. B. Checking whether the post condition have been fulfilled for all the test cases. C. Checking whether the loading of the TUSH is repeatable in the SUT environment. D. Checking whether all the test cases produce repeatable outcomes. 10. You are reviewing the testability of your SUT. Which of the following best refers to the characteristic of observability? A. The ability of the SUT to perform its intended function for a specified period of time. B. The ability to exercise the SUT by entering inputs, triggering events and invoking methods. C. The ability of the SUT to prevent unauthorized access to its components or data. D. The ability to identify states, outputs, intermediate result and error messages in the SUT.